Yes, it, yes, it has. Uh, this is a very significant trial here, particularly on the basis of the continuation of the Me Too movement. And they're looking at this as really a, a touchstone landmark case as to what the outcome will be in Los Angeles Superior Court against Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Tell us about some of the people that have brought these charges. Yes, prosecutors are going to focus on five women, Jane Doe's, one through five. However, and this goes back to a timeline of 2004 to 2013. Now, we received a bombshell yesterday in the news that one of the women who's going to testify against Harvey Weinstein is actually the first lady of California, the wife of California Governor Gavin Newsom. Jennifer Newsom, in fact, who's a well-known filmmaker now in Los Angeles, was a uh, aspiring actress back in uh, 2005 when she met with Harvey Weinstein and she has uh, said in, uh, uh, in reports uh, that she was uh, raped at the time. So she is one of the five women uh, who's um, going to be coming forward in court. Uh, another woman is named Lauren Young. She's a uh, actress and a model. Uh, she has put her name out there publicly. Uh, her um, story goes back to 2013 when she was cornered in a hotel bathroom in uh, Beverly Hills and Harvey Weinstein um, assaulted her. Um, we don't know at this point the specifics on the three other women. One is an Italian model. What we do know is that prosecutors also wanted to bring other women forward, uh, famous women in, in involving Daryl Hannah and Rose McGowan. Other names that were thrown around uh, have been Salma Hayek, Angela Jolie, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Um, all of these women have uh, come forward with tales of harassment or abuse by Harvey Weinstein. So this is a you know a star-studded. Um, a trial, and there's going to be a lot of uh, focus on that Los Angeles courtroom. However, there will be no cameras in the court. Interesting. So high stakes indeed. I imagine the jury selection would have been very, very tough given just how public and high profile this case has been. Yes. Um, there is, uh, of course, this is such a well-known case. Uh, they've already impaneled um, uh, 75 potential jurors. Jury selection is expected to take uh, two weeks or so for what's expected to be a two-month trial. Uh, and again, um, you know, the, the prosecutors are going to go out of their way to make sure that the jurors that are selected uh, have no issues. As we found out recently from the Ghislaine Maxwell trial, which I covered here in New York a while back, uh, and uh, prosecutors won a verdict against her. Uh, it later came out that two jurors had not admitted uh, the fact that they had uh, suffered the sexual abuse in past years. So the uh, prosecutors are going to be very specific in understanding uh, where all these jurors are coming from and what their past histories are to obviously avoid any type of appeal situation down the road. Yeah. You know, he is already serving a, a lengthy term, 23 years in New York. Is there a sense that this is about getting further justice and him behind bars potentially for the rest of his days, or more about giving these women their day in court? Well, this, uh, you know, the, the Los Angeles case against him, uh, which uh, carries a 135-year uh, uh, sentence, um, really was, was coming across as something that was going to be uh, uh, strictly symbolic uh, uh, in the in the Me Too movement here. However, because his um, uh, case in New York is under appeal, which is going to be heard next year, and there is the possibility that he could be released in New York based on um, his uh, lawyer saying that he wasn't uh, properly given the uh, ability to uh, speak on his behalf, uh, then there's so much more pressure now on this case in California to put him behind bars and make him pay for uh, the abuse, uh, the alleged abuse of uh, 
more than 90 women over the years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the stories are so similar every time you hear them. It, it, it was just extraordinary for the length of time he allegedly got away for this. with this. You know, when we think about now, it's, what, five years from when the Me Too movement really was triggered because of the revelations around Harvey Weinstein. Do you think enough has been accomplished? Well, I think that every one of these trials uh, that we've seen over the past few years, uh, uh, whether it was the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, the Bill Cosby trial, uh, the first Weinstein case, it, you know, each of these cases bring so much more public awareness and, and obviously shine a spotlight on, um, uh, you know, what's happened to these uh, uh, women over the years and the fact that there is a Me Too movement. And I think that um, uh, it's educational. Uh, not only, you know, are these are these women and the prosecutors seeking justice against a, you know, a, a very evil man, but there is awareness and education uh, through the publicity of these uh, of these trials. Yeah, and, and if nothing else, when you see him, a shadow of his former self without any power, it, 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 it does show that, um, in, in a sense, you know, the, the women have had their say and, uh, um, and, and this is where he has landed. It's going to be fascinating to watch. Good to talk, Barry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.